2022 Honda Accord sedan sport so I'm just doing a recovery so they could get the condenser out of the way for some sheet metal repair and replacement and people ask me how do I set up my rig what do I do well when I don't want to release refrigerant into the air even though they call it acceptable when you're purging your hoses and stuff like that I don't want to do that so I go through the extra step of actually vacuuming out my hoses every time making sure they're under a vacuum. You can see it's at 137 microns. I vacuum out my, um, what's my, man, I'm having Alzheimer's problem here. Recovery unit, and I vacuum it into recovery. I move around the knobs to make sure I have it all vacuumed out. I put it into purge, and I purge the unit of any air in the system. And that's why I'm able to get it down so low before I perform any procedures. Now, there'll still be a, minute amount of refrigerant or, or air just a little bit in this hose that I'll mix with my recovered refrigerant but this is all going to get recycled anyway and you can purge out this very little last bit so I'm going to show you here what I do so right now we already have it in the purge so we know everything up to here is vacuumed out and clean so let me turn off the vacuum because you can see we're at 132 microns and I'm just gonna do the vapor only. So here I'm going into more detail and actually showing you how I go through this process. So now this is gonna fill up vapor. I can hear it now. And if, where do I have a leak? I hear something somewhere. And I don't, oh, I didn't have that shut off, no wonder. It wasn't all the way closed. Okay, so now, and leave my mistakes on the videos, like always, I don't reshoot. So now, we're filled up with vapor refrigerant all the way up to here. I have this open. It's going down the yellow hose, going to the recovery, into the unit. But I have this in the closed position. So right now, up to here, there's no air trapped in the system. I have this one loose. I have this one tight. I'm going to do just a quick, that's it. Did you hear that little hiss? I only did that just real quick. And that put refrigerant through just that short little piece of hose right there and purged out any possible air. So now I could open up the tank, tank is open. And now I can turn on the tank into recovery mode. Let's zip it down so I don't pull it out too fast. And not all the way all the time because you don't want to pull up it so fast that you bring up oil with the system. So down like that. So you'll see this start to drop. And I'm now pulling out the refrigerant from the system. And it'll fill the tank. Now this will be this will be from like 20 or 30 different cars. And this is a 30 pound tank. So say I put 27 pounds in. This is just I'm just using arbitrary numbers. So I'll have 10, depends on the size of the cars and how much refrigerant. If I do a few vans, I'll fill this up really fast with it. If I do a few vans or have like four or five pounds, I only get to do four or five big vans of, you know, uh, 15 passenger uh, commercial van kind of things. But uh, it'll be a mixture. It'll have waste oil from many different systems all mixed together. It'll have some air in there. It'll have moisture in there. Might have fine particulate matter. All this has to be sent you either send it out to recycling it with a cylinder exchange program with one of your local warehouses or you have you you have to purchase a recycler yourself and recycle it yourself one tank at a time uh, most of you guys do one tank at a time I wait after two or three weeks and I have like 30 or 40 tanks and I'll spend a week and I'll start on a Friday and finish on a Sunday and I'll do like 30 or 40, I'll do several hundred pounds all at one time. And uh, I don't like keep start stopping doing one tank at a time, it just wastes too much time. I have 125 and 240 pound cylinders for fresh recycled refrigerant. So I could daisy chain several of these tanks together, recycle them all at one time and stick them into one large 240 pound tank. I don't do small volume like most shops do. I have a high volume. So um, that's it, it's done, it's finished. Well, it, most of it's out. Now I gotta go through the process of bringing it down to the micron level.
And um, so I go through a process of hundreds of pounds of refrigerant at a time, not like small shops who just do recycle a, a single 30 pounder or 50 pounder. But that's part of my process. I didn't describe everything in here. I probably left some stuff out because uh, I got to get working right now and take off. But I was just trying to clear up what I do because more and more my subscribers are buying these units. And I tell you, there's videos from the manufacturer. You could go to the manufacturer's website and look how to do this. Now in commercial AC, it is acceptable to have a minute amount of purging of refrigerant while they're cleaning out the lines. But I don't like to purge refrigerant out into the atmosphere. So I go through that. It wastes my time a little bit, but I like to keep my refrigerant as clean as possible. And I like not to release refrigerant to the atmosphere as much as I possibly can. All right, guys, I'll see you later. And uh, I'm gonna finish this up on this um, 2022, what did I say this is? Um, Honda Accord Sedan Sport. See ya.